Hi, today our topic is drop down option selection. We will use two methods. The first one is by attribute, the second one is by index. Here is the website we will use in this video. You can see here currently the session is 21/22 and we are interested to select this session 20/21. First let's see the demo then we will move toward the code section. So here is the, the file in column A here is the link and here is the session which we are interested to select. So now I am running the code. You will see it will select 20 slash 21 session. This is our dynamic website JavaScript based, so that's why it takes time. So you can see drop down select and here is 20 slash 21 now it will close so here is the demo done so now here is the code section so this is the default structure we are using from the very beginning so from here our main code start so this will take the link from column a which is this one and the session is this one and after it it will visit this link and here you can see click on drop down so this is the x path for select this drop down like we did manually so if you are if you have no idea how to write x path so kindly watch my videos in which i cover this topic so you know how to write x path and after it i place one second wait because this is a javascript base so it takes time on loading so for avoid any type of error that's why i add one second wait here and after it this is the x path for option d so you can see here i already put here let me show you can see it let me zoom it so you can see here clearly 29 so you can see here let me select one two three four so you can see when i click here in document section so here it's marked that option now five so it will select 17 slash 18 so this is the x path for options so here you can see i extract the attribute so this is the first method that i mentioned here by attribute so here is the unique thing is title so let me show you so here you can see here the title is 17 slash 18 so i target this title attribute to compare and here is our session which is this one 20 slash 21 and i convert it to string because here you can see it is inside so to avoid any error that's why i convert session to string and also this so when these two are same it will click and then move toward we can also go to, to skip the code when the condition is fulfilled like this so we use vba go to statement go to next like this and here we will assign label or you can skip this also it will just select our target option only the rest it will ignore so this is the first and by index i mean let's suppose for some reason there is no unique attribute to separate each option so i just take this as example so this one so you can see here these are the months one two three and we know that months are constant 12 so let's suppose here it's also has value option you can see here attribute 24 etc sorry for this one i guess so you can see it assign one two three according to the month 
let's suppose for some reason there is no attribute only option so in that case you can use the index by manually first you have to find the index like so let me change it to this we are doing this with the help of by attribute now i am using by index to do the same thing so here let i am interesting in 20 slash 21 so let's start from here so you can see total are 29 so i can fi find easily the index number of our target option so on on first index the session is 21 slash 22 and i am interested 20 slash 21 when i click it give me the index number of our target option so this is the our target index so two so how we will update this instead of attribute to an index so here i will get a, a new variable trigger is equal to zero and inside this i will increment this like trigger trigger by plus one and instead of this i will remove this and i put here if trig is equal to 2 then click so it is the same like the title is equal to our session number so this code will loop all the options here 29 so we are interested in second one by index so when the codes come here it will increment this one so we are not interested in one it will ignore this and second time so it's now the trigger will be true and we are interested too so it will click and then ignore the rest as i mentioned earlier we can skip the code if our statement true so let's suppose go to next after select the our target option and this way it will do the same stuff now i am running it again so you can check out that it worked fine Now you can see 20 slash 21 select now it will close the chrome browser hope this will help you if any question kindly ask in comment section thanks for watching the video